So I want to record this quick video because um, this is what I want to do on Tuesday and I'm doing it from home because I needed to get this done. Um, we've talked about calling jobs with IO, we've talked about doing loops, but many have asked, well, how do I know if I only want to do this for so, so long for a certain period of time? Well, this is you, that is you that is done with using registers, data registers. Okay, um, how you get to the register? We've done. Remember, we've recorded position registers, but how we record data registers um, is is simple. Um, it's right here through data. There's a button right here that says data, and anything with an R by it is a data register. That's how we do numbers. You can see right here at number four. There's a four there. Um, you know, remember we did position registers, we'll eventually hit out registers and vision registers in another class. But registers are like dents or, or integers that just store numbers. Like that's what's store, uh, with the digital inputs certain stuff are like on off, this will allows us to do counting and other things. So we have this job here and, if, and we've done this before. Here's our user frame U tool. What I wanna show you is how you can do a, a counting program to allow things to keep counting and stop after a certain amount of time. So I'm gonna go into hit next and go into instruction. And if you look on the very first instruction is registers. And it's gonna give you an equal, equal plus. Well, the equal will set a register to whatever value you want. So I'm gonna do a register zero and I'm gonna do register number one. I'm gonna set it to a constant of, of zero. This is setting things up so that when you run it, it automatically starts at zero. And notice I'm doing it above the jump label. That will come in handy in a second. I'm gonna jump down to line eight. I'm gonna go to edit command and insert a line. Because that's gonna be important in a second. Say I wanna run this sequence twice. How I would do this is put in register, the equal and plus, hit register, one equals register one plus a constant of one. What I'm saying is, and this is the syntax, is let me get my little um, annotation thing out here. Is I am gonna take what the current value of register one, add one to it, and then put it back into register one, okay? So if, if you look here, it's saying register one. So the first time through it'll be zero, add one to zero, and then put the result back in register one. What we've done is basically done an increment or an adder. So register, so zero plus one is one. So the first time it goes through, it's gonna do, do a one. Now, next time it goes through, it's gonna be a two, a three, or four. And just to show you this, I'm just gonna go forward and through this job. And it's gonna go through this job a bunch of times. You can see it's going through, going through, going through. But now we click on data and look, it's gone through twice. Function of board all. Go select and enter because I'm off the job, but it's adding one up. I'm gonna just go here and do step real fast. I'm just gonna run this program. Let me do, let me do shift display and see if I can do a double display so you can see this. The second display, I'm gonna do data. And now watch, if I, I'm doing step, Sorry, I gotta be in the primary window to hit function. Look, now it's three. If you look up a, a data register, I'm gonna highlight it, look where the circle is, and I'm gonna run the, run the program again, but on but as I step through it, watch what happens once it goes that R1 equals zero. And run execute, it switches to zero. 
So I'm gonna turn off step and I'm gonna run this program for a little, and you can see it jump up. Watch the blue circle, one, two, three. It's gonna keep going and going and going. And so I'm gonna function a board off, I'll clear all my drawings. My mouse close. And I'm going to go back to oops, select and call job, calling job program. Okay. So now we know how to add ads. So that would be helpful. We can keep track of things. Everything's going to be done with this jump label, except we're going to modify it. Remember those if statements we did last week? We're going to do if register one. And let me go back. Hold on jump label. I want to do choice. Let's go back to previous. Let me go. Let me back out. Okay. If this equals this, if this not equal this, this is less than or equal to, or this then then, then jump label. Well, I'm going to do less than register one is a constant. Oh, I forgot to hit enter. Is less than three. Sorry. Let me then is a constant of three. I keep forgetting, forgetting to press enter. Then jump label back to one. Okay. So now let's run this job. So now look here at the, at the register one. It's one. It's two. And look. Once it ran through that third time, it stopped. This is how we loop programs for a certain amount of time. This is how we can maybe use, we can use these add registers to add things, um, keep track of your cycle counts. But this is the syntax um, right here, okay? If you're confused, go back through the video a few times. We'll talk about Tuesday. I just wanna at least introduce it.